offering food is an important part of nurturing the people you love. For caregivers, meal preparation can be a challenge, especially if the care recipient has special dietary needs. Hi, I'm Dr. Yvette Liu. Today we're in Milton, Ontario, visiting with Shannon, who cares for her seven-year-old daughter, Caitlin. Caitlin has cystic fibrosis, a genetic condition that particularly affects the lungs and digestive system. Caitlin's condition requires the family to be very careful about cleanliness and germs, so Shannon spends a lot of time cleaning. Her condition also has special dietary needs, which makes meal planning complicated. Let's go see how we can help. We're going to hear about these challenges and seek out practical solutions to help people nurture the ones they love. Welcome to House Call. Shannon, thank you very much for meeting with me today. Thank you for coming. So tell me a bit about Caitlin. Caitlin is seven years old and she loves gymnastics and dance and she has cystic fibrosis. Right now, you wouldn't know that she had CF. She can run just as fast as her friends and jump and play. And so our goal is to keep it that way. And what about um, the risk of infection? The risk of infection is something that um, weighs heavily on our mind every day. Because if she were to catch um, a common cold or a flu, it would mean um, long-term damage to her lungs. And she may be admitted to the hospital for several weeks. So usually my day starts with waking up before her and making sure that her her breathing equipment is sanitized and cleaned and ready to go for the morning. Every day I think I spend about two to three hours a day just wiping everything down. Everything you see or touch would yes. be wiped down at least once a week. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of work. It a is. A lot of stuff to do. Tell us about the other people in your home. Let's talk about their diet because everyone, is it that everyone has different food needs in your family? Yes, it's very challenging. Um, so Caitlin, it requires like a high fat, high protein, nutrient rich diet. Um, and then my husband and I, of course, have a regular diet as an average person of a low carb, low calorie, <laughs> low fat diet. So it's hard to balance a high fat meal for Caitlin and a well balanced meal for us. And then my son Jackson doesn't like to eat at all and um, is a vegetarian. <laughs> right now we all eat at different times and I tend to make three different meals for everybody so that I know that everybody's eating something. So how have you been managing the balance to make like the food for Caitlin and the food for you and your husband and the food for Jackson? I think my biggest time saving trick right now is just fast, easy meals. Um, so we eat a lot of the same thing mm -hmm. <laughs> every week and so um, I think I'm, I'm failing in that department in terms of organizing my time and, and things like that. So the food preparation and the cleaning, do you have much time left for anything else? No, unfortunately not. It's very overwhelming at times because I feel that if I don't do something, what if she gets sick? I would feel guilty that I didn't do my part as her mother protecting her. The biggest thing for mothers of children with CF is we are doing everything we can. Of yeah. course, we love our children. We want them to be healthy and with us yeah. for as long as possible. Um, but it's still, every night, it's yeah. hard to get those negative thoughts out of your mind um, that you know, you're not doing enough. One of Shannon's biggest challenges is meal preparation, as it is for anyone who cares for someone with special dietary needs. So I'm here in Hamilton, Ontario, at the Liaison College for Culinary Arts, where I'm going to introduce Shannon to Lori, a chef and nutritionist who's going to teach Shannon some time-saving tricks and some simple and delicious recipes for her family. So Shannon, what we're going to do is we're going to accommodate all the members of your family. So Joe, Shannon, Caitlin, and Jackson are all going to love this at different modifications and variations. How many kids do you have? Two. Two. And I have four. Oh, wow. So I have a little bit of experience with this. <laughs> yes. Meals that can be modified for Caitlin with high fat additions should save Shannon from having to cook separately for each family member. And you know what? I'm going to make a smoothie. Basically, we're just gonna put some strawberries, some banana, yogurt, some 35% cream, some ice, and then of course, when you feel like it, you can always throw in some extra veg. Perfect. One of the great things about this is that we can add calories for Caitlin. Okay, great. So 35% cream is what's really gonna help increase the fats and the caloric value. 
To breathe normally and make up for poor digestion, people with cystic fibrosis can burn one and a half to two times more calories per day than the average person. Really good. While you're enjoying your smoothie, you can just start on making some chicken bone broth or beef bone broth because who doesn't love chicken soup, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a couple of packages okay. of just chicken bones, they're very, very simple, and you're gonna take some seasonings. You're gonna toss them into a pot with some water and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and an onion with the skin on so it's very fast and then just let it simmer away in the crock pot. It can be simmering for 36 hours. You can enjoy using it all the time and have a jar in the fridge at all times. Soup stock is easy to prepare and nutritious. You can create different soups from the same stock by varying which meats, vegetables, and spices you add. Now, we're gonna actually make a delicious rice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some carrot, celery, red pepper, and peas, which are really sweet when they're fresh in the pot. A little bit of onion, and if they pick out the peas or they pick out the red pepper, it's okay. Over time, you'll find that they'll start to become accustomed to watching you and Joe eat all the nutritious, delicious, colorful vegetables, and they'll start to be curious. And after seven times of doing that, they'll even enjoy them themselves. It's great. The protein we're going to use today is pork schnitzel, and we're going to put it with some flour and some eggs, some breadcrumb, and then we're gonna pan fry it in some coconut oil. You can even pre-make six of them or five of them, so whatever you're cooking, just make one more chicken breast or one more cutlet or one more steak, and then you can slice it up and put it in the fridge, and it's always there, or you can even pop it into the freezer. Well, those would be perfect for nights that Caitlin has dance or gymnastics, and we're rushing home to get a nice hot meal very quick for her would be great. Today was incredible. Lori really gave me some time-saving tips and ways to create the meal and then add fat and more caloric intake for Caitlin separately. I think the biggest thing for me today was that I don't feel intimidated anymore to make um, a great meal from scratch and that I don't necessarily need to measure everything. I can just add a little bit here and trust my own taste. I think it'll save at least an hour a day um, and over the course of the week, several hours. Take the lid off. Place this right into the oven for 10, 12 minutes at 375 and it'll warm okay. up really nicely. And so that way you've always got some ready fresh meals in the refrigerator. Perfect, awesome, good All right. work. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I'm very excited. Meal preparation is an important part of nurturing the people that you love. Even if you don't care for someone with special dietary needs, I hope that you too can benefit from the information that Shannon and Lori discussed. Thank you for joining us today. Please follow us on social media for more information and share this episode to raise awareness about caregiving and cystic fibrosis. From Hamilton, Ontario, I'm Dr. Yvette Liu. See you next time.